Support companies that help support the Stony Ridge Farm. Subscribe to the channel and contact Farm Fence Solutions for all of your fence building and tornado wire needs. Good morning folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to day two of the fencing competition here in Worthington, Indiana at Farm Fence Solutions. There is nothing <laughs> at all set up and the competition is gonna start in about 45 minutes. If you tuned in to yesterday's video or a couple days ago's video, you'll see this area right here where day one of the fencing competition uh, was held. That was a fun day. This is gonna be even funner. Today, we're gonna to start out on flat ground right here, and they're gonna drop off over this edge. So they'll have two transition areas, one transition area right here at the top, and the other transition area right there at the bottom where you can see that shadow. So, right now, everybody's gathering all their goodies, having fun here in Worthington, Indiana, building fence with tornado wire. They have the option of using steel post, or they can use wood post. We're gonna see a lot of cool different fencing techniques and have a lot of fun here today at the fencing competition. Guys, you'll notice a lot of different machinery than you're probably used to. This isn't like grandpa used to do, digging a fence post hole and setting and tamping posts. They're using dedicated fence building machines right here. This is called a ProTech Evo. And over here is another type of uh, fence building machine. Uh, this is kind of a hybrid deal. These are all post drivers, okay? So that's a post driver right there. This is the driver. This is the rock spike right here. And this is a track machine. They just loaded up this Miller Bobcat welder on here. So these guys are definitely building pipe fence. That's what you're seeing, these dedicated fence building machines. So there'll be skid steers, there'll be that machine, and there'll be several of those ProTech Evos. And we're right here at ProTech USA. Uh, the machines actually are being built right here in the shop. So really, really cool. Um, ProTech initially started out in Gloucestershire, England, I do believe. Protex uh, fence building machines and they make all sorts of uh, post drivers for the back of your tractor. They make these track machines. They make all sorts of cool stuff. So really fun, interesting. We'll do a feature totally dedicated to these fence building machines in the future on the channel for sure. And these guys will be coming out to our farm and building our fence. Guys, this is Luke with Farm Fence Solutions. This is his place here. He's holding this event, what, every year now in every, October? Every year in October, nice. Fall Fence Forum. Awesome, appreciate you holding this event for us. We all wanna learn from you. Good, Good day. Be, yeah. I thought you were more of a black chap kind of, kind of man. Here, give me another one of them ham, hammer squirrels. <laughs> Some folks have been calling you Wyatt Earp of the fencing world. Is there a reason? Because I'm the fence slayer. <laughs> Welcome to the 2020 Fall Fence Forum Shootout Finals. You are playing for a pair of 45 long coat lever action Cimarron rifles, a one year lease on the Protec P240. Second place is playing for some really nice fire pits and third place for the American flags. Everybody be safe, nothing below the belt. Protect yourself at all times. On your mark, get set, go.
right, so you see a lot of moving and shaking going on right here. What these guys do is they start out by running a straight edge or a straight line down through here and they drive their posts. These are the king posts, the posts at the end. So they'll drive the post on this end, they'll drive the post on that end, and then they'll string it. Some people use string and some people are using high tensile wire. So the high tensile wire makes a straighter fence. The string has room for error. So you'll see string and you'll see wire. Pretty cool stuff. Then they get their posts all laid out and they start driving posts. And you can see these guys are already welding up a brace. So some people are building wood fence. Some people are building pipe fence. Pretty awesome. Good group of fencers, guys. This is the best group of fencers in the country. This is an awesome event. I encourage anyone to attend, especially if you're considering putting fencing up on your property or your farm. So this is a unique transitional area from an area that's flat to a steep hill to another area that's flat. So it proposes a lot of challenges for these guys or imposes a lot of challenges. You can see that wire right there. That's their straight edge. It's up in the air. Different folks have different ways of securing their line down low. So you'll see these guys, they all have lines strung out down through here, and they'll all stake them down so that their straight edge goes to here, and then up to there. Really, really cool. We're with the representatives from American Timber and Steel. You guys are out of Ohio, is that right? Well, our, our home office, Josh, is in uh, Northwest Ohio, but our point of manufacturing is in Nacogdoches, Texas. Nacogdoches, that's Nacogdoches, a pretty cool place. Yes. So I went down there to the factory. If you guys want to see a video on how fence posts are made, at the end of this video, I'll attach it. But you guys are providing all the posts for the fence build the competition this year, right? That's right. Uh, for the third year uh, of, of the event now, we're the uh, exclusive sponsor of all the uh, treated wood posts being right. uh, used in the competition, uh, like the turn posts behind us as we call them. Gotcha. And these are all consistently shaped posts, not like the ones you get at the big box store that are about that big at one end and a huge at the other end. These are consistently shaped posts. What do you call that? We call them turned, that's what uh, we refer to them as, and they're milled uniform one end to the other, put gotcha. through a rounder so they're late, they have a nice uh, finish on them. Every post is as usable as the next. It's awesome. Cool. Well, thanks guys, appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks Josh. <laughs> thanks Josh. The folks at American Timber and Steel gave me this awesome hat to give away to you guys. So post a comment down there and you'll be randomly chosen to win a cool American Timber and Steel hat. Man, this thing is nice. Yeah. Who's your favorite parent, mom or dad? <laughs> both. Both? both? Say both. Everybody say both. 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 All right, good.
Is this barbed wire or barbed wire? Bob. It's Bob. Bob wire, not barbed wire. All right, that's good. We can't waste time on this. Let's go. We got 36 minutes. 36. Everybody's got airplanes now. All my friends have airplanes. They're throwing toilet paper out of the plane window. All right, guys, we're down to 10 minutes to go. And man, there aren't any fencers that are completely done with this project. It's a four hour deal and that's it. Cutoff time is four hours. So whatever you've got, you've got to drop it, stop and make your area safe. But man, uh, I would say only two fencers are close to being done at this point. Again, we don't have much time. I will tell you, we're two days from the first competition. Some of these guys are absolutely exhausted. That first day, that first competition wore them out, man. It's a lot of stress and a lot of, <laughs> a lot of work to get done in a four hour period of time. And you've got to be thinking and moving. Every time you're moving, you're carrying something, you're moving something, you're thinking, you're thinking things through. So uh, efficiency is definitely better today, but this hill challenge made things take just a little bit longer. Time! Oh, it's time, everybody. <laughs> Looks like we've got two or three not done. We actually extended the time frame. Uh, by 30 minutes and they're taking one point off for every five minutes uh, over the time. So I uh, would say that some folks got done probably about uh, ahead of time and then some folks got done probably about five minutes uh, after time was called. So four hours and 30 minutes and that's what we got. So we'll hear from the judges and we'll come back over here and we'll take a look at this fencing. Woo, what a long day, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this footage. We've had a blast out here. Everybody's all done. We went to four and a half hours, like I said, and I have the preliminary winner results. And the fence that won is right here. Now, they met the spec. That's what they did. They met the spec the best. They actually got done. 15 minutes before the four hour mark and the rest of the guys had to extend their time to four and a half hours so Wilson fence and sticks fencing won the competition you can see just how good they stood out above the rest everything all the specs were met everything's neat tidy clean it looks absolutely awesome um, not much of a difference in all these and the cumulative winner is going to win a huge prize probably worth about 2,000 bucks so really really cool the fences look absolutely awesome guys again these are some of the best fencers in the country and if you're interested in having some agricultural fence built on your property if you like this kind of thing you can come to the farm fence forum next year in 2022 it'll be in October of 2022 and if you shoot me an email at stonyridgefarmer.com or you go to farmfencesolutions.com, you can find the fencer that's right for you. That's what this is all about. It's about learning, it's about having fun, it's about building farm fence, and it's about finding the right fencer for me and for you. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you coming. This was a fun day. This was an awesome day. Lots of fencing to go on my farm and lots of videos to come on my farm building fence and we'll give you a whole lot more tidbits of information on how to build fence once we start building it on my farm. Awesome. Thanks a lot guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. I wish we could have teaching moments and we could stop and slow down but not today. This is all about competition. It's a good time. Wilson Fence and Sticks Fencing won the competition today. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. We'll Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge.
Bring your wife and bring your kids We're living life pure and sweet That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Red Woo! Folks, we're here with So folks, we're here with the folks No, uh, ready? Are you? <laughs> uh-huh <laughs> We have fun. All right, we'll start over real quick. That third time's best time. This is the second one, so. All right, guys. So, folks, we're. Yeah. <laughs> Only for real. So, folks, we can't stop laughing. So, folks, we're with. so much fun. Thanks, Josh. American Timber and Steel. I don't want you to say something. I'll contact you randomly. I won't contact you randomly. I'll contact you yeah. when you win. Woo! 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 <laughs> that was a good unison right there. Ready? There. One, two, Wait a minute. Where'd his hair go? Where did, get, like, where did, oh, right, where did my head go? He said, oh, H. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, no. We got the same barber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Oh, all of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Middle age. age. There's a bunch of middle aged men <laughs> over here <laughs> getting ready to go woo. All right, woo. How about we're going to count down? <laughs> count out. One, two. Are we woo. <laughs> are we going on three or are we going on one, go two, on, three? Go woo. on. One. Two and then three is a silent and that's the blue. Okay, that's okay here, ready? TV, huh? <laughs> yeah. One, two, woo! <laughs> well, the three was silent. <laughs> ready? Woo! <laughs> there we go.